So marketing initiative number four, actually one of my favorites now looking back on it. What was it? It's coming up in just a minute. First of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell below. I am here offering you clarity for your interior design business so it can be a successful business. Your processes are organized. You have lots of marketing in place to make sure that those clients keep coming through that door. Without further ado, let's do this. This was the ultimate women's show. So there is the pass, creating contrast designs. That was my little exhibitor pass. The ultimate women's show is a show, just as it sounds, I mean, you know, you have a lot of exhibitors there. I can't remember the exact size of it right now, but there were people with jewelry, clothing, crafts, accessories for, I'm um, oh, sorry, recipes, you know, anything kind of lifestyle, anything that would pertain to, you know, <laughs> that women would be interested in. I figured that this would be a great place to market my business and someone else had told me about it and they said, hey, why don't you, why don't you come along as well? And I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. So I did. I won't lie, this was a lot of work. It was a three day event. And uh, the good thing about it was that it was coming up, it, it was now I was on social media more, right? So I was on my Facebook, uh, I could blog about it. So that is where this also comes in very handy is that you let people know what you do. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it because I was able to take a lot of pictures. I posted them to Facebook. I said, you know, here's my booth. And then I used it for my blog. So it wasn't just the women's show itself, but it's also the way that I was able to um, get it out there, right? But let me just say, this was a three day event. We had this set up, the booth was 10 by 10. I'm hoping I can throw in a picture here to show you. You know, so you have to make the most of the space that you have. So we brought some furniture from home. Again, I didn't want to be spending a lot of money on this, you know, but I did get some signage um, from Staples, which was great. If you look back at one of my earlier videos, you'll see that that really was free, but not free. Uh, so go take a look at that if you missed that one. I also was able to get emails from that and gather people's information for my email list. And from that, I gave away a free two hour consultation. I actually gave away two, I mean, you don't have to tell people how many you're gonna give away, but uh, I, I drew two people out of the hat. And so I got their name, I got their address, their phone number and their email address as well. And interestingly enough, actually the two people that I drew did not contact me, you know, I contacted to them I emailed I never heard back I always find that weird but it does happen you know people win stuff and then they never claim their prize have you won something and never claimed your prize or have you offered something and people have never claimed their free stuff comment below let me know however I did get talking to a couple of lovely ladies there and one woman who hired me on for a two-hour initial consultation I went to her home she was looking for color advice and uh, so that went really well. I still remember her very well uh, to this day. And then there was another lady who called and both of them, interesting, interestingly enough, contacted me again. So it wasn't just the one-off consult, but I had consults with them again afterwards. So it, it wasn't like, as I say, it wasn't like a huge money maker. definitely made my money back on that one. Again, I can't remember, I apologize exactly how much it costs to have that booth, but just know that it's a lot of work. It was a lot of work for setup, and then I was promoting it, then I was there full on, you're on your feet all day long and then you're doing the tear down you know on the final day you don't just get to leave and come back the next day you work the full day and then you take it down anyway so that is the number four marketing strategy and like I said that did work for me I love that I could post it on social media and I can refer to it now and I can share it with you and I should probably mention that once you get these clients you're gonna to want to make sure you have all of your processes in place so make sure that you're organized I can absolutely help you with that I've got rock the initial consultation that's a package right here I've also got my rock 3d presentation package which is just over here and you know anything that you want I even do a 90 minute pick my brain session I really want you to have a successful business and the majority of times when people uh, you know and designers anyone in business you know if anything fails it's usually because you haven't managed your clients expectations and also because you haven't got your processes in place your clients are not then confident with you and it, that's not good so get confidence get clarity I'm Claire Jefford I'll see you next time There was a firefighters who were kind of near us. That was nice. Here's a picture of me. I think his name was Adam. How do I still remember that?